Welcome to 5 Minutes with Your Data. I'm Claudio Murariu, your host on this episode on Time to First Value. As people create accounts in SaaS products, most companies get on a race to get them as quickly as possible to first value. Because there is this common belief that the sooner people get to first value, the higher chances that they are going to convert into customers. But if I've learned anything in my experience as a data analyst is that every hypothesis needs testing. So that's what I did when I had to analyze a product's time to first value and its impact on business growth. So the first thing I did was to go into the report on how long does it take to onboard the new accounts, because onboarding is defined as the process of going from sign up to experiencing the promise of the product for the first time. And here is where I discovered that 64%, especially in this case, of the accounts that signed up and finished the onboarding process had a common behavior in terms of how long it took them to finish that process, and that was nine hours. But there were also 36% outliers that took much longer to finish the onboarding process. If we look at this distribution, you can see it looks like a long tail. Common behavior is here, but then outliers are all over the place. So, is that 36% outliers a good thing? Should it be higher? Should it be less? Well, in order to answer that question, we wanted to see what was the impact of the outliers on the business outcomes. So I went and I did a drill down on who are those accounts that were outliers, so they took much longer to finish the onboarding process. And once I got to them, I created a behavior-based segment of the people with this behavior. I already created that segment for the purpose of the video, so we can go faster through the data. And then I went to retention and checked what is the retention of the onboarded accounts. So for this business, the retention report tells us that 72% of the onboarded accounts return after one week, and by 12th week, we get only 22% of the onboarded accounts still using the product. Well, how does it look for the accounts that took extra long to finish the onboarding process? So they are the outliers. 82% for the first week, and 12th week, 34%. So 50% higher retention from 22 to 34, 50% higher retention for the people that took much longer to finish the onboarding process. Now, this report is not telling us that we should force people to spend longer in the onboarding process, not at all. But what it's telling us is that when we try to enforce the time to first value to our users and try to get them in a pattern, we might actually harm our business. Friction is good, especially when it is expected friction. The problem is unexpected friction, which people don't understand why they need to do it in order to get to that first value. So don't take everything for granted and go check for your own business what is the importance of time to first value and what is its impact on retention. Looking forward to see you in our next episode. Thank you.